in less than a month the national airline uganda airlines is expected to soar into the skies once again with its maiden commercial flight since its revival this year this comes after the firm, now known as Uganda Airlines National Company Limited, recently acquired two Bombardier CRJ-900 aircrafts, with a further four aircraft anticipated between July and January 2020. Works and Transport Minister Engineer Monika Zubantege inaugurated the new Uganda Airlines Board of Directors that will play the oversight role. The board will be chaired by former Rwanda East MP Godfrey Ahabwe Pereza. Our vision is to be a world-class airline exceeding customer expectations through high-quality service, global connectivity, and commitment excellence. Other members of the board include Rema Mutazindwa, Katharina Sinde, Charles Hamia, Benon Kajuna, Godfrey Semugoma, Stephen Aziku. In her speech, the minister said everything is now in place for the airline to operate without any flaws at a competitive level, meeting the highest standards. The, the appetite for air transport is growing. You will be surprised to know that we have like eight flights of Kenya Airways. We have Ethiopian three. You know, the appetite is really growing. And most of these flights are full. So we need to rest some of that business into our own airline. The permanent secretary in the Ministry of Works, Waiswabage, also revealed that despite the challenges they have faced, there would be no delay in making the national airline operational. You know, it is a process to get the money, to get finance committed. At all levels, it was not easy to secure these funds. But thank God, eventually we got there until finally when we went to Parliament to appropriate a supplementary that enabled us to get where we are. In the financial year 2019-2020, the National Airline has already been allocated 575 billion shillings that will enable it to operate. Uganda has already mapped out routes starting with regional capitals before eventually taking on longer direct routes to Asia and Europe. Sohel Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.